Police in Baldwin Park are looking for two men wanted in connection with the murder of a 37-year-old man. The victim's body found in the yard of a home just after 8 o'clock last night. NBC4's Kathy Vara has been gathering information at the scene for most of the day. She is live right now in Baldwin Park with more on that. Kathy? Well, Colleen, neighbors tell us that the man was visiting his parents. They rent an apartment that is located in the back of his home on Cosby Street. And tonight, police say they are still looking for two men who were last seen running around the corner near where the victim was shot. I'm going to be uh, moving tomorrow. Reggie Stevens has lived next door to the home where the shooting took place for 35 years. My whole life, never uh, experienced anything like this. It's, it's really scary. A candle now marks the spot where family members say 37-year-old father of two, Jacob Sosa, a medical technician, was gunned down just after 8 last night. Baldwin Park Police asked that a search warrant be issued for a home around the corner where two men were seen running after shots were fired. The members of our Special Enforcement Bureau made entry into the home and detained, detained several individuals. But not before a barricade that lasted several hours. People who live in the neighborhood were evacuated and were not allowed to return to their homes. If they were looking for somebody and then we had to go out. So I got the kids and I only left the dog behind, so hopefully everything's okay. I have school and I'm after this, uh, I'm after this one of my classes. Reggie Stevens says he came home in the middle of the chaos just as the barricade situation was unfolding. And they stopped me and they said, you can't go home because there's, there's shots are being fired all over the place. So far, police have not made any arrests, and they still have no clear motive for the shooting. Right now, they're trying to find out if the victim had any enemies. Live in Baldwin Park, Kathy Vara, NBC4 News. Hey. Play. Just search one word, Megadop. A murder investigation is underway in Baldwin Park after an hours-long standoff that left one man dead. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robles is live in that city where the standoff forced neighbors out of their homes for the night. Mark. We are here on Earl Avenue, and after some 15 hours, police just cleared the scene minutes ago. We know, of course, that one person was shot and killed, but the circumstances are still very unclear. A woman speaks with investigators this morning, several hours after her 37-year-old son was shot and killed outside her home in Baldwin Park. Minutes later, she was overcome with grief and consoled by her husband. L.A. County SWAT was brought in overnight. While no arrests have been made, several people inside a neighboring home have been detained for questioning, including this man in handcuffs. We had information, obviously, that a gun was involved, so we contained the area, wrote a search warrant, and then gained entry into the residence. Investigators would only say they had reason to believe those detained were connected. Meantime, about two dozen neighbors were forced to sleep in their cars, including Adin Reyes. He says his family is familiar with the man killed. I don't think he lives here. He just, uh, he just comes around and visits his mom because I always see him at night when I get home, and I'm, I'm sure it's him. I know everyone on the street right here, and I couldn't imagine anything happening like this to someone. Susan Law was finally reunited with her mom before heading off to school. She had to stay out here the entire night ever since like nine maybe yesterday and she had to go to the neighbor's house and use the toilet. It was just really annoying. And while the victim's mother continues to grieve, investigators say several questions remain, including the motive and finding the suspect responsible. At this point, investigators are not sure whether or not this shooting was gang related, but of course that is something that they will be looking at. Reporting live in Baldwin Park, I'm Mark Robles, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Mark. Okay, we apologize. We appear to be having some technical difficulties with that report. We can tell you that police are looking for two suspects in this shooting. Last night, it took place on a home that is on a the block just a, just a short distance away from here. Again, the street just reopened. Police say that there were a number of people who were barricaded in a home across the street who they believe may be connected in some way. Uh, they held a SWAT barricade here for hours because of that. In the end, they say those people came out voluntarily. Uh, at this point, they're trying to look at what connection that may have to all of this. But again, we can tell you one suspect was killed.
his name, uh, Jacob Sosa. He's 37 years old, and let's take a look at that report. I was in the restroom, and I heard, like, five gunshots. So I feel like they're going to hit another five gunshots. Florence Strong heard gunfire shortly before 8.30 last night. Oh, Investigators who rushed to a Baldwin Park neighborhood found the body of 37-year-old Jacob Sosa on his front lawn. Neighbors say Sosa had lived with his parents here for 15 years, and his family is well known. If you're a community member, if you needed something, they were there to help you. All we know is that uh, uh, the individual walked out of his house. He was outside on the lawn for a couple minutes. Several shots were heard, and uh, approximately two suspects were seen running late. Overnight, detectives zeroed in on a home across the street they thought might be connected and got a search warrant. SWAT teams were brought in because of the possibility of an armed suspect. An intense barricade began. They woke us up and said uh, they, we needed to get out ASAP, so we got the kids and got out. Neighbors were evacuated for hours. Some slept in their cars. Then the SWAT team made contact with several people inside who voluntarily came out. They were detained for questioning, and we saw one in handcuffs taken away in a police car. Mark Shenfield grew up in the neighborhood and says it underwent a clear transition years ago. And they come down real good to let you come and raise a family here. Now it's being scared. I knew this lady was there for a whole night. Elvis Wong was able to go home for his backpack before heading to school, but the street remained sealed off as detectives brought in a search dog and crews gathered evidence. And you're taking a look at some graffiti on a wall here. Police say there has been fresh graffiti in the neighborhood recently, and that one possible motive they're looking into is whether these suspects had any gang involvement, but they also say they haven't ruled out anything else yet at this point. Reporting live here from Baldwin Park, Cara Engstrom, CBS 2 News. Cara, thank you. L.A. Police and... Thank you very much for that. And we have breaking news. We're learning new details this morning about the breaking news in Baldwin Park. That's where a murder investigation led to a standoff overnight. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Cota Robles joins us live. And Mark, the standoff is over, but police are still looking for answers. That's right, Leslie. One person has been shot and killed, but the circumstances surrounding that shooting are still very unclear as this neighborhood remains taped off. Now, police initially responded to this neighborhood around 8.20 last night. Uh, that's when they had reports of shots fired. Once they arrived, they found a 37-year-old man shot multiple times in the front yard of his own home on Cosby Street. That man is dead. He has not been identified. As for the SWAT operation, that was connected to a different home just around the corner on Earl Avenue. Investigators had reason to believe that that home and the people inside may have been connected to the shooting, though those people are not considered suspects at this point. Once we had the house contained and, and the members of the special enforcement uh, team made their presence known, the, the uh, residents in the home came out voluntarily. This happened about two years ago, actually, on my block, about three or four houses down from my block. There was a SWAT team uh, flushing uh, a suspect out of his house. Well, that neighbor is among the two dozen or so, maybe more people, that could not get back to their homes after the shooting happened. As for any past history at the shooting location on Cosby Street, investigators said it was too early to make any connections. Now, two male suspects were seen running from the scene, but we do not have a good description of them. Police are still looking for witnesses. They need that help to close this case. Again, the street here on Earl Avenue remains closed, all of it under investigation by Sheriff's Homicide. Reporting live here in Baldwin Park, I'm Mark Kodorobulis, ABC7 Eyewitness News.